welcome back to another detailing adventure. First off, before anything, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. It really does mean the most, and you are greatly appreciated. Also, turn on those post notifications. I'm learning that that really does go the longest way. I want to help you guys out today with semi-truck detailing tips. I would say the way I detail semi-trucks is one of the best ways to detail a semi-truck. At the start of my detailing journey, I would get a bit anxious jumping in and getting started. I think I started to feel a bit overwhelmed with the amount of dirt, nasty grime that can build up. But now I feel a little bit more confident and comfortable to know that I can get the job done quick and effective. With that being said, let's jump into these tips. Tip number one might seem obvious to most, but take out any large belongings, clothes, trash, etc. I like to see detailing as a canvas, and we want a blank canvas to be able to, you know, express our art. And without, you know, having a clean canvas, it just causes a lot more stress and a lot more time to be wasted. So that is a number one tip. Second, number two detailing tip is start from the back of the truck and do top from bottom first. Many would ask why. Because all the grime and dirt wants to do is fall down. So getting all the nasty grime off first and letting it all drop overall just makes it easier. It makes it an easier clean, but it also saves so much time. And this one, I feel like I slowly started to experiment because I was like, okay, should I start from the front to the back, back to the front, bottom down, up down, you know? And this is like, you know, things you start to accumulate and figure out with time. So number three is get good brushes slash invest in drill brush. Man, drill brush kind of saved my life, guys. I'm not going to lie. Usually in semi-trucks, the floor or walls might have tough stains that need that extra agitation that extra attention and it definitely will make life a lot easier so don't sleep on that guys i promise it really will make life a lot easier number four is you'll get faster and better with time you'll find what works for you and you'll develop your technique remember it's always one step at a time don't get overwhelmed because then you'll not enjoy the detailing process and I think we should all have fun while trying to make the money. <laughs> okay, okay. I think the fifth and final one might be one of the most important one. And it's to think of it as your home. Someone's going to live in here. And if by you giving them a detailing transformation can make their quality of life better, then you're doing it for more than just yourself. And that should mean the most. And I hope these help, guys. I hope any of these semi-truck detailing tips can help. Please comment down below some of yours. I really want this to be a community that we can help one another. So with that being said, have a great day and I appreciate you.